Hello friends! So today's video is a packing video featuring Jujubee's Dr. BFF in Midnight Basket Weave. So this bag is from their Emboss Collection, released last February this year. And the Emboss Collection has this unique emboss pattern, as you can see here in this fabric. Very pretty. Which is still Teflon treated on the exterior, meaning it's stain resistant. And in the interior, it's still with the Aegean treated um, coating which resists bacteria, molds, and mildew. There's two features I love why I chose the Dr. BFF as my work bag since I work in hospital and clinic. So as you, some of you know, I am a doctor, specifically an eye surgeon or ophthalmologist, and using bags with these features are actually an added bonus to protect my things and keep my things and my instruments clean. So I read in one journal that the um, silver lining or well, silver coated or epoxy treated uh, fabrics may resist even viruses so with a pandemic at large it's actually really a added bonus feature to have this bag so tonight i'll be unpacking my things from this better b here into the dr bff and some of you might uh, want to stick around so you'll have a glimpse of what's inside an ophthalmologist bag. I uh, will just quickly fast forward and packing my stuff from this bag to the Dr. BFF. So let's get started. So let's start packing. We'll start first with the side bottle pockets since they're the easiest to, to pack. Then we'll go to the front pocket. So the front pocket, the mommy pocket, and the tech pocket. On the front pocket, it's pretty roomy here. It's age online, more likely. So I might put here some of my probably eye drops. So let's see. So I have it here in a small set piece in black petals. And it has here all my essential eye drops. My anesthetic eye drop, antibiotic eye drops, and all the other eye drops. So if I put it here, maybe it will be a bit heavy and but bulky. So maybe I'll just un pack this and put it all in this so this will be a dedicated eye bottle pocket so it's all for this pocket so on the mommy pocket this is very roomy compared to your usual BFF so you have your uh, here some pockets here and then a zippered pocket and a garterized pocket so there are two mesh pockets here and then a key fob here so um, I'll decide here to put probably my office supplies and some documents more likely that I might easily need and at least I can access easily for the mommy pocket so let's see so I have here the medium set piece and black petals and in here has my pens, doctor stamp, uh, and other things. So we'll just unpack probably all of this in the mesh pockets. Put 
here some documents. So let's see. So I guess that's it for the mommy pocket. So here in the tech pocket, it's pretty deep could fit an iPhone uh, plus here so I'll just put my phone here and maybe my ID card you see access here and this one probably this, is, this folds this is a portable UV lamp for disinfecting my things so I'll just place it here since this is very delicate and it's felt lined so it can protect the lamp so I'll just place it here all right so we'll go before i go to the main compartment let's go to the back of the bag so the back of the bag here so you have d-rings here so this one two d-rings here more likely would attach your backpack straps to underneath here and then you have your outer d-rings here more likely this one would be for your messenger strap so uh, this one's out of the way so we'll concentrate on these uh, two pockets here. So this first one, it's not considered a pocket, but it's actually like a, a compartment for sliding in your stroller here. So when you travel, this one's really useful to put your strollers, your bag, your Dr. BFF to put on your stroller handle. So that's a really neat feature. But on the back of this uh, stroller, handle if you will is the back pocket and this one only houses the mm, changing pad this is a memory foam changing pad and it's also embossed just like the bag but more likely i won't be needing this but i will still keep this in future use in case i will travel with my son so this one would be very roomy and it could perfectly fit more likely my ipad All right, so let's go to the front of the So we'll now start in the main compartment. So you can see it's horizontal zippered and it opens on top. So that's why it's called a doctor bag or doctor BFF. So let's open up. And as you can see here, you have here one, two, three, four, five pockets that are garterized and a zippered pocket here at the back. So let's start uh, taking this out. So here's the backpack straps. I might use this for traveling and the messenger strap here for work. Okay, and as you can see here, it's really roomy and it's deep compared to the regular BFF. More likely it can fit a 14 inch laptop. So let's open and uh, try to pack this thing. This is the large set piece in black petals and it has here more lenses so i have here lenses for to check the back of the eye as well inside the eye so this is an indirect uh indirect lens this is a 90 digital white field i use this with my big instrument in the clinic the slit lamp and this is a must also so i don't think i will put the large set piece that it will probably take much of the space so i'll utilize the garterized pockets built in here okay.
so they still have more room for the side pockets and two pockets at the back and the zippered pocket. So I'll put my current wallet. This is the B Spendy in the Unikiki 2.0 and the coin purse. So more likely this will fit here. Well, it fits like a glove and a coin purse. So just this one securely zipped in this zippered pocket here. Okay, so most of the things inside the Better B previously um, are already in here and I still have room. So let's see if I can fit uh, my surgical sets. Uh, and they're pretty bulky, so let's see if it can fit and other things. So it fits my surgical instruments, surprisingly, and it closes. Interesting. All right, so maybe I can still fit in this side. So let's see if I can fit here. And it, yep, it fits in this pocket as well. All right, good. Alright, so now all that's left is I think this one. This is my sanitizing makeup kit. So this is in Black Magic medium set piece. And it has here my makeup and sanitizing essentials. still fit on top but probably let's put it here in the side here so it won't be out of the way when I get this one and pull this out so interesting so it still closes up and it's really packed <laughs> but it closes interestingly <laughs> wow very packed and heavy all right so let's go to the next view. So switching to the front view again, and I think the last one that it was in my better B is actually this uh, Passupod in Monarch, and it just has my dilating drops and some of the fluorescent strips inside here. So I don't think I will be needing the Passupod, and I'll just place. So, I guess that's it. So this one is uh, really a uh, full and uh, packed Dr. BFF for uh, an ophthalmologist. And it really is uh, very handy and very utilitarian bag. And it really packs a lot of stuff, really packs a lot. I always say that in a lot of juju bags but this one really packs a lot despite of it despite this size here and hopefully i can still carry this i think this is heavy but <laughs> oh yeah it is heavy but I, I attached already the messenger strap here and i will be using this tomorrow for my clinic tomorrow and we'll see if this one is comfortable to wear despite of this weight despite the weight and um, there so Hope you enjoyed seeing me pack this thing and I'll see you in the next video. Good night! <laughs>